Hello and welcome to yet another yapping with me, Polonius the Wizard. It's Sunday, let's do some thinking, talking. Now and then I get to see some strange or awkward sentences in English. It seems like it's more of a filling. I have to say something so I say this. Um, and then now again someone is actually saying something but meaning something else and those are not really fun one of them is um, i couldn't care less it's totally useless if you say i don't care you're already at the bottom you can't care you're you're in apt to care or you just don't do it but saying i couldn't care less implies that once upon a time you kid didn't know how to care less that is you were at the bottom but since you couldn't that might have changed but it still sounds a bit awkward I would say I don't care or I don't care a bit but I couldn't care less it sounds funny perhaps that's the reason now that sentence is not that often in my life I, perhaps I hear it I don't know once or perhaps twice a year or something like that but there is one more and that is without further ado I hear that a lot I hear it mostly once a week uh, often in American videos, American, I must uh, point this one out because it seems like they love this thing. Now, it's not it's like it's that sentence is wrong. It's actually perfectly fine if you are presenting someone else and everybody in the audience is actually waiting for that someone else to come aboard but you have you feel like you have to present him and tell him who he is because that's something that he would or she wouldn't do and then you end this perhaps well i don't know 30 seconds long with without further ado that is let's skip the bullshit and get to the real thing that's what it really means. Without further ado, here is and go on. But the video people out there is actually sitting two, three minutes debating, changing, trying to explain and then suddenly they came up with without further ado, they are now trying to transition to the thing that the video is supposed to be about and every time I, I'm, I'm totally fine with following the the <laughs> thing up to that point but as soon as they say without further ado I stop I don't want to hear anymore because up to this point it hasn't been important and if I thought that was important and it wasn't then the rest will be totally shit. It will be the crappiest video that I've ever seen. So I skip it. So if you want me to not watch your videos, use that sentence without any real reasons. Uh, you can, there is so many other sentences that you can do, but without further ado, sounds like something nice it has a proper feeling to it it feels like you are a bit higher up in the hierarchy and then we are back to you well, you have heard about it stylistics <laughs> it is actually finer it's more over neutral in in sentence because a do is not actually a real word in the normal sentence you cannot use it any other way except like this that means that the whole sentence without further ado is actually specially designed for bringing on the next guest or the next speaker 
But people use it because they feel like they are so much finer when they do it. And it totally breaks me. <laughs> and if I hear that too often, and I do, I hear it a lot. Ah, I get a very bad feeling in my stomach. Now, I don't have anything similar in Swedish, Danish, uh, Norwegian as I know of. Um, Chot Lake might think something else, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen anything like it in German. I haven't heard something similar in French. So it seems like it's an uh, English word you know, or English sentence and it seems like it's mostly Americans. Is there anyone out there who can explain this? Please do. Otherwise refrain from using just those three words. Let's go on with the show. I, I can buy that. Uh, uh, let's go to the more important stuff then. Or let's continue now with what I really want to show you. That means that what I've said so far is okay. But now we are getting into the uh, juicy stuff. Whatever. But don't use without further ado. Please. Please. And it's Sunday. Thank you for listening. Bye.